Animal control officers come in, we are dispatched to calls just like 911 is. Uh, we have a pre-existing call queue of backlog calls. We will go out and work. We also work out uh, calls that are just coming in. There is a priority system. The primary focus of animal control is rabies control and containment, also enforcement of Chapter 6 of the City Code. Uh, we're dealing with loose dogs, cruelty, neglect, tethering cases, uh, animal bites, attacks, injured animals, loose animals, and the such. At any point in time, we've got from four to six officers running the city, uh, responding to various natures of calls. Depending on the time of year, summer is probably our busier type of year versus winter tends to slow down. Uh, more people are out. Animals are more active during the warmer months. Uh, Fourth of July, with the fireworks, we tend to have a lot of uh, calls about loose animals get scared, they break loose. Right now, we've probably got in excess of 100 calls that are in some form of being worked, whether they are waiting on their initial call or they are in some form of follow-up. Average officer probably work maybe 10, 15 calls a day, either to completion or to follow up later on. Make sure that you vaccinate your pets for rabies. Dogs and cats alike are both required by city statute to be current on a rabies vaccine. Dogs are required to have an annual license. There are a number of limitations on how many animals you can possess. I would refer you to the City of Wichita's website. Chapter four of the code can uh, clear that up. During the summer months, it's very important. Don't take your animals with you when you go shopping, take them in the car, otherwise we will respond. We don't want to see the, the dogs in hot cars. Make sure they have plenty of cool water, they've got shade, they have shelter. We do recommend uh, that you microchip your animals, both dogs and cats alike. It is a lot easier to get animals returned to folks that microchip their animals. Uh, tags are also an option, however, tags do fall off. Microchips don't go away. Name, address, telephone number on the tags, contact information. Don't just rely on the rabies tags that the uh, vets give you because a lot of times we cannot track those down.